Next question is from Emily Powell, 79. I'm at a point now where I don't always want to be cutting and bulking. How do I set my calories to maintenance? What's the best way to maintain and how do I know I'm staying on track? Mm. Well, first off, the what we believe to be maintenance is a little bit of an illusion. Um, your body is always gaining and losing a little bit. And over time, if it evens out, that's what appears to be maintenance. So, and you know, I don't always want to be cutting and bulking. It sounds like you don't want to do the aggressive cut and bulk. But ideally, the best way to maintain is to figure out how many calories you need every day to kind of stay the same. And sometimes eat a little more than that, and sometimes eat a little less than that. And now the reason why I'm saying that is because I feel like that's a healthier approach to nutrition versus saying 2,500 calories is my maintenance. This is what I'm going to eat every single day. Nobody lives that way. Well, not only does nobody live that way, that's impossible. Mm. The metabolism is free flowing. Your metabolism is changing day to day. Mm. You know, like it, it is never a straight line 2,500 calories. Right. I mean, and in fact, it probably rarely ever hits an exact calorie amount like 2,500. It's always moving up and down based, and it, stress changes that, sleep changes that, uh, your intensity of your workout changes that. I mean, so many things are going to change how you were eating the last three days versus, you know, all these things are going to keep, are constantly moving and changing the metabolism. So, you know, trying to stick to a number ever, like, and just say that this is my maintenance when it be around there. I mean, I, I, what I consider maintenance is this, like I would consider I'm in maintenance right now. I'm not really tracking my calories. I'm not really tracking my food. Um, I, I pay attention to what I'm eating. Like I know, like to me, I know what, like not enough protein kind of looks like what plenty of protein looks like. And so I tend to focus on that since it's an area that's hard for me to hit. And so, okay, I, I'm watching to make sure I get that. And then I'm the, the feedback I'm getting on if I'm in a, in a, a quote unquote bulk or a cut at the time is if I'm putting on body fat and I'm like, okay, I'm definitely eating in a surplus right now, and oh well, it's okay. I'm probably getting a, a, a half a percent, a percent. Okay, now it's been two percent body fat. I probably put on, and I give myself like this, you know, four to five percent ability to fluctuate. Like I, I, I don't care if if I can stay between a, you know, twelve to fifteen percent body fat range uh, by not having to, to track and weigh all the time. Like to me, that's I'm maintaining. And then if it starts to go too far one way or the other, I just course correct. Mm. And that to, that's what I consider maintenance, but it's not a calorie number that I'm even paying attention to or watching. I'm a, I'm allowing myself to intuitively eat with knowing that, okay, there's a good chance I might be over consuming cause I'm putting on body fat. That's okay. If I put on one or two or three percent body fat, I'm not out of shape or unhealthy, and I know I can re course correct really quick and go the other direction. 